All right, guys. So today we are going to be taking a look at the Real Grey Wing Zero Custom LS4 version. So this is actually my first time building a Real Grey. So you guys are gonna be getting some of my first, um, kind of like a first impression as far as building it. Kind of like the quality and just kind of my, uh, I guess, anticipation of how it is. So I think overall, as far as the building aspect of things, it's uh, actually not as hard as I uh, originally thought it would be. Uh, it's pretty simple. You build upon kind of like the interframe. You slap on some armors, and then you do have a lot of intricate parts for sure. Uh, especially when we do take a look at just the head, uh, it's pretty well sculptured. Just pretty nice, and the wings construction is uh, kind of phenomenal. Like you definitely feel that they add in a lot of uh, works just to make the wings, you know, a lot, a lot more intricate. Just a lot more detail, and it looks uh, definitely. It, it, it looks pretty beefy right uh, the size of things uh, there is they did definitely did not hold back on it so um, I think overall it's a pretty pleasant experience for sure so I think future for it I think if I do run across like a really uh, cheap real gray I will not be opposed to getting it just because of this uh, first experience so it's not bad uh, so there are a lot of places where they are doing kind of like a color separation we have kind of like an off-white right here off-white from the top of the head and then some on the leg section as well so this one they kind of split it off so this one is kind of like a pure white off-white uh same goes from here to here and then on the lower section it goes from the off-white to the pure white and so that's actually pretty clean um the, uh, but the other thing I do want to mention is the parts. They do come fairly loose as you do kind of move around a lot. So the heels right here actually came off a few times. So that's why I haven't really put it back on. So that's kind of like a problem that I do want to kind of express on it right there. And then the wings construction, um, even though they build it in a way that it seems it won't be loose, but I think eventually these are gonna come pretty loose. So that's gonna be a problem. Head-wise, this part does come out really easy, so that's kind of my experience with it so far. So let's actually get into the articulation. So starting up the head, so the head can move up and down, so not really too much when you are looking upwards, so that's kind of the unfortunate. As far as the rotation-wise, you can actually rotate limited. If you do want to forcibly do like a 360, you can, but uh, there's really no reason to do that, so I think this much is uh, all you're going to be getting. Putting the wings on the side for now, so taking a look at the arm. So the arm, you can obviously just kind of bring it up like this you can pull it forward for just more dynamic poses and then the shoulder guard you can swing it forward so there's actually an additional gimmick where we can use for kind of like they call it i think it's the atmospheric re-entry or i don't know like the actual proper translation to it but essentially you can kind of pop the shoulder guard outward like this so you're gonna have kind of like a downward uh kind of posing wise and then the wings can fall forward like that so that's a gimmick that we will, we will take a look at in a bit. As far as rotating all the way through, you do have to be careful because this part does like to come off relatively loose. So yeah, it's ready to come off. So you can actually rotate it with uh, taking off that part first. So you can uh, easily just do your rotation and then pop, pop it back on. So let's actually rotate this. So you do have a rotation right here. Bend wise is actually pretty good. So it's a good 180 for sure. But another kind of concern that I have is that if you do move it a little bit too fast, sometimes these kind of joint, kind of like a ball joint socket, they do pop up. So that's definitely something to be careful about. And some nice detail, this piece right here is actually clear. So you can actually touch it up with some, I guess, clear green paint and it should look pretty nice. Or some metallic green works as well. So whichever one you prefer. And as far as the hand itself, I want to use the open palm one. So you do have a fairly uh, ease rotation right there as well so pretty nice so take a look at the torso we have the machine gun that can open on both sides so that will expose the uh, cannon right there the machine gun cannon so that looks actually pretty detailed it so not bad the cockpit does actually open just kind of slide open a little bit and unfortunately you cannot really make out of the kind of see on the camera but there is a seat in there but there is no hit or you inside but you do have obviously a separate figure for that as far as the rotation or just the movement of the torso, it's actually pretty wild. Um, you can get a pretty nice ab crunch, 
but due to the weight of the backpack you cannot really have it stay in place so that's just the unfortunate factor side to side no problem you do have a fairly flexible rotation all around so pretty nice for your dynamic poses coming down to your waist section so all these skirts they can pretty much just pop forward with the exception of the side skirt they do have a limited range of how much you can actually um, kind of bring it forward so that's the uh, discrepancy to that but the back skirt they do have a fairly decent movement to get uh, get it out of the way so you do need to uh, post the leg any direction you want you do have that so speak of the legs so the legs you can rotate or just kind of pull it forward as follow. so just a full kick back kick wise uh, it's actually not that bad not a full kick but you do have some back range movement as well side to side so if you do want to do a split unfortunately i don't want to say or i i don't want to just force it through so it's uh, fairly limited so definitely uh, something to expect right there you do have your rotation right here so not that bad uh, it's not going to be all the way through so you do have to be careful on that uh speaking of which the legs you can actually drop this forward uh, i'm just going to take this out first so you guys can kind of see you can actually drop this part so if you do want the legs to have a different angle you can actually have that so that's actually pretty neat so i think these are pretty standard for real gray so uh pretty cool as far as the bend for the legs is actually not that bad so you do have a pretty good range right here so you have that pretty nice so the armor does kind of split right there so that's the only one that's that's kind of split the rest of the leg section does not so we have that uh as far as as far as the feet section we can take a look at it on the left hand side so the uh, feet guard so this one can just kind of swing up like that the back one does have some limited movement as well so the feet itself does not have the best range as far as uh side to side unfortunately and that came up as well so i am just gonna leave it there so you can actually just kind of put this backward or just kind of fold it down upward is actually pretty decent as well and then the toes is actually have a little bit of a movement as well uh, bring it forward so pretty good articulation thus far so now the main attention we have to ship it into the backpack or the wings so the wings have four sections to it so you have these two main ones over here or these two should have been main wings and then you have these two back section as well so let's actually take a look at the back section first so it is going to be connected into the backpack with just these two connections right there so this allow you to rotate in this direction and then the other one will allow you to uh, fold the wing on uh, to the other side like this so pretty nice and you do actually have a movement that allows you to bring the wings like this and then additionally you do have an extra gimmick where you can open this up to uh, and view some or review some more of the wing section just for uh, added detail detailing right there so pretty nice and then you do have your beam saber up right here so the beam saber is held by a peg and then you do have some movement in here as well so you can kind of mimic having um the beam saber being pulled out from the backpack section so pretty nice detailing right there as well as far as the main wing so you can say there are three different connection points to that so you have one that connects directly into the backpack so this portion allows you to rotate and then there is kind of like a locking mechanism that allows you to keep the wing in check so you do see those little grooves right there so that's uh, kind of how they are designing to make it uh in place and then you do have a rotation right here that allows you to rotate it in this direction and then the other one is going to be this direction and then lastly you do have another rotation right about here so in total you can say there are four different section of a moving that you can uh, have the wing just kind of pose whatever pose you would need to do and it will look pretty amazing and then next we can actually open up these section within the wings as well just for some more added gimmicks so they just kind of slide out like this and this one slide up the other way so you can get some more detailing in there as well so now the wing this looks pretty massive not that it's, it's not already massive but that is actually some pretty nice detail added on and then these are individual kind of feathers so you have seven in total they do have some limited movement within them as well so that is pretty nice so now taking a look at the accessory we obviously do have the infamous twin bus rifle so now they are individual so you can obviously combine them up next uh, we have a pair of a uh, green beam uh, effect parts right here and then up next we have some finger option as well so we have one that is the trigger finger 
we have a closed fist one and then we have one that you can uh, easily use to hold any of your weaponry like the twin buster rifles or just your beam saber and then up next we do have the action base adapter so this one allows you to plug it in either on here or right there so that definitely does allow you to have more creativity when you are making your poses as far as holding the actual weapon so like i said again you can choose to use this one i do find this one to be a little bit loose as far as holding it you obviously do have a peg right here that allow you to just kind of peg it in but uh, unfortunately it does come off relatively easy so i don't really feel that this is secure enough so we do have it like this or you can actually just use the regular kind of like your high grade um kind of like your finger right here or your hand so you have this and this connection is really solid um i find this one to be the most secure so if you do want to get your poses this is probably going to be the one that i will be recommending but what i will have to tell you guys is uh when you are combining the twin buster rifle i personally find that having one uh, with the trigger finger one and then this one together it works the best because if you guys do notice this one does kind of produce a little bit too outward so when we are combining the twin buster rifle this section does kind of protrude a little bit too much so in return we cannot really successfully hold those uh in place that well so if we do combine them right now you guys can see they really don't have the most secure connection so that's going to be another flaw that this kit has uh, in terms of holding a set extra pose it's uh, kind of non-existent in a way unless you just kind of cheat the angle to get it so that's the unfortunate factor and then up links we do have the beam saber so towards the very end i am definitely going to be showcasing up some of the poses that this kit is able to offer so right now we are just going to be doing a quick demonstration of how they actually hold up so this one you can have it either or so i think this one you may not necessarily need to use this finger i think for ease i will probably use this one because at least this one you can easily remove it so that's probably the one i will be using but uh, overall as far as the uh head manipulators and then the uh, trim bus rifle they are pretty nice uh detailing wise on this one is actually pretty good so definitely nothing to complain about so up next let's talk about some size comparison so the first kit that we are going to compare with is the high grade f91 gundam so i believe they are roughly about the same high 16 meters if i recall correctly so in this one obviously the wing zero custom is uh, towering over the f91 and just overall a little bit more massive than the f91 so that's definitely thanks to the wing section themselves and then going back a little bit early into the uc timeline we have the ra 72 so i believe ra 72 is a standard 18 meters tall gundam so this one is definitely pretty uh, evident that the ra 72 it is a little bit taller and then up next that uh, we do have the wing zero uh from the tv version so as far as the overall size itself it's uh, pretty close in uh, comparison i will have to say the only things that is a little bit more i, I guess you can say outstanding is the leg section for the, the tv version it is a little bit chunkier uh just from the overall feet itself the overall legs it seems a little bit bigger and i think everything else proportional wise the wing zero uh the real great one is actually a little bit slim slim down in a way and then lastly we have the 1997 uh, high grade version so uh man i was not really expecting the proportion to be that close to the high like regular high grade they look roughly about the same uh, despite the fact that they are many many years apart from each other they are actually pretty good in terms of size comparison so actually not that bad the only biggest upgrade you can say is the wing section with the real grade receiving tremendous amount of detail added into it and just the size of it and just the magnitude it definitely allow this real grade version to just look exceptionally well uh and it's pretty nice so if they ever do release a let's say a revived version of the high grade i would definitely expect to maybe be better than real grade if not to be because like the real grade version came out like in 2014 so using today's technology wise like i, I would definitely say the revive high grade of the uh, rank zero would be even better if not i would say but uh, other than that, that is going to be pretty much it as far as my review of the Wing Zero Custom LSO version. And I'll be catching you guys all on the next one.